Good morning, Andy. You girls want some food? You're hiding under the truck? Good morning, modern steaders. I'd say we got all the excavation projects done just in time. Everything's covered in snow. They're not calling for any big snowstorms this week, but they are calling for quite a few little ones. Gonna have to get New York City moved into its winter location. Get our chicken tractors picked up and... What's the matter, girls? You don't wanna get wet feet? Snowy feet? I guess I should put some food inside for you if you're not gonna come out. Uh oh, the door's frozen. <laughs> you ready, Pluto? Luckily, Pluto loves the snow. Definitely got to bring some firewood in today. It's gonna be a cold week this week. You girls look nice and warm in your winter coats. Huh. Get the solar panel cleaned off. Oh yeah, there we go. You ready? Go for it. I put our herbal dewormer in the chaff hay and she smells it, don't you? Yeah. Well, I was like, uh, dude, this chaffe doesn't smell right. She'll eat the chaffe with the herbal dewormer in it. But she kind of puts her nose up out of it first. I think winter is here. I think we're pretty much gonna have winter weather from here on out. One of the things I'm gonna have to do this week is I'm gonna have to take down the goat's temporary fencing. I don't take it down now, I'm afraid it's gonna get frozen in the ground and I won't be able to get it out. The goat's probably not gonna like having their fence taken down, but I have an idea farm if we get a lot of snow this year that I think will be fun. Or at least in my head, it's kind of fun. We better get some firewood in the house so we can keep the house nice and warm. What are you guys up to? You basking in the sun?
had to rush over and shut the tractor off. It's making all that noise because it's not getting fuel is what it's telling me. So I don't know if it's got a dirty fuel filter or if the fuel slushed up because it's been so cold. It's not that cold though, so I don't know what the issue is yet. location I think so we can pull it off and slide it down and set it over here because one of the worst things about these tractors is the fuel filter location the fuel filter is underneath the bottom if you get your mower deck on you can't get to it Ugh. just frustrating just leaving the mower deck on I wanted to get a little yard mode one more time before I took it off but I don't see that happening. Not after today. fuel filters got plenty of fuel in it so that's not the issue there's another fuel filter up front here in order to get at this one you gotta take this all the way off okay This fuel filter looks like it's empty. I'll have to take the line off and see what's going on. So I guess we're gonna take the fuel filter off. I'm gonna take the fuel filter off, see how bad it is. And I got a new one, so while I got it off, I put the new one on. It's winter time, so I gotta get a few replacements to have on hand. And I gotta put some winterizer in the fuel tank. It is cold out today, but I wouldn't think it's cold enough really to mess with the diesel fuel. Well, who knows? Right, I'll put some rubber gloves on because I know I'm going to get covered in fuel. I guess now I'm curious why the fuel pump, they don't have any fuel in it. Oh, it's on there good. suction on that. Oh yeah. That line I think is froze up solid. This line I can pinch. This line I can't. I think there's ice in the line. Oh. Yep. Don't know if you can see in there. Let's see. You see that? There's ice right there. Oh, that's the issue. Froze up. I'll put a new fuel filter on there while we have that all off. Better 
I'll do that clamp some. 10 millimeter, yep. Oh yeah, froze up solid. I don't think we'll be using the Kubota today. It's gonna have to defrost. But now we know we got a good clean fuel filter on there. Alright, we're gonna put back together. Check on it tomorrow. We got that 911 in there. Hopefully that'll help defrost it. I guess today we're gonna be moving firewood in the basement. An armful at a time. There we go. So once we get this car hole in slid on and there's some grooves in here we gotta line up and we just gotta tighten down these knobs and lock this all in place let's finish getting the smoker put back This is when I'm glad I don't have a diesel pickup truck. It's not fun dealing with a froze up piece of equipment or a vehicle. It gets really cold out. So they'll switch over to winter fuel. So when it's this chilly out, below freezing, the diesel fuel won't freeze up. When it gets below zero, they still freeze up. So I'll have to deal with this a few more times probably while it's this cold out. And come winter time when it's like say 20 below zero I don't even try touching the tractor because I know it's not going to start well the tractor still might be froze up tomorrow but at least we know we can smoke some bacon tomorrow you guys enjoying the sun Usually every week we try to get a breakfast going for the week and this week we're going to try something different. We're going to try like a home fry egg and sausage bake. What would you call it? Breakfast bowl. Breakfast bowl. How about, hash, how about home fries, scrambled eggs and bacon? Uh, how about home fries, scrambled eggs and sausage? We haven't finished making the bacon yet. Me and you are going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, so we can have some bacon to it. Does anybody have a time yet? I'm starting to cry. I'm starting to get teared up. Are you? I am. My eyes are all burning. Like I'm getting sad. I'm getting depression. Is your mask here running? <laughs> Is it? Not yet. Not yet. He doesn't have a kid. I'm kidding. You didn't put it on today. I forgot. Okay. I knew I forgot something this morning before we went to church. Oh. We're gonna cook the potatoes in boiling water so they're about halfway cooked.
Feels. Feels like winter. I think they'll stop chewing their cut if you got carrots for them. Everybody gets two carrots. Here, Willow. Oh, you gotta eat that. Buttercup! Hey, look. Willow, wait! Willow's like, I want all the carrots. Willow! Here. Quick, come on to Buttercup. Buttercup. <laughs> Go away. Willow! We should have brought seven. <laughs> Buttercup getting no. it yet? Blossom. Ah! <laughs> Do it to Blossom. Wow. Hurry, Buttercup! Give me Blossom. <laughs> Buttercup's too slow in sniffing it. There we go. Did she get one? Yeah. Uh -huh, almost. Kind of. Ew. You gotta eat it, eat Slobber. it there. Willow, go away. She's not gonna eat it, I just give it to another one. Here, Willow. They're all carroted out. There we go. Blossom wasn't. Buttercup didn't eat any. Can't believe she didn't eat any. I still got plenty of hay. I don't have any more. Boom! You ate them all. You ate them all. All right, I'm going to collect eggs for dinner. You want to come? Uh, you staying here? Yeah. All right. We're going in. We're going in. Yeah. Have fun belly bumping. Okay. We were talking and we either want to get some solar or battery operated lights to put on the hemlock for Christmas time. I think that'd be kind of neat looking. Did you girls lay enough eggs today for dinner? Uh, I hope so. Oh, there's a chicken. Frozen chicken turd. Watch out, honey. I know you're sitting on all the eggs. Yep. Oh! Got it. Whew, that was a close one. There we go. What are you doing? I thought Olivia was taking you in. Go, come on. She doesn't want to go in the house, Livies. I said Pluto doesn't want to go in. What's that? Figaro's on the balance beam. All right, we should have enough for dinner. It's gonna be like a hash. Yes, I like hash. I like hash. It's gonna be good. I like hash. I tried to help potatoes. How are the potatoes? They're good. They're good. Hey, no, no. You can't try some. Yeah. They are good. Yeah. Good.
Usually on Sundays we try to come up with some kind of breakfast meal that we can cook up a big batch of so we can have it every morning throughout the week and this week we decided we'd try something new. I guess it's kind of like a hash but instead of hash meat it's got sausage and then we got scrambled eggs in it and that came out really good. I was impressed with it. We all like it so we're looking forward to it this week. It's different than a quiche or doing like a banana bread or a zucchini so I think this will be a new one that we'll be adding to the menu and doing probably once a month or so. I think a lot of the times we put ourselves in a box. I know I do. Whether it comes to food, what you're cooking, what you're making. Oh, hey, that's never been made before. I can't do that. Or, hey, that's never been done before that way. You can't do it. I just want to encourage everybody to get out of your box and try doing it a different way. Whether it's a way somebody's told you you can't do before or a way you've never tried doing it. Just try it. You never know what it'll lead you to. So I want to thank everybody for coming along on our journey with us, supporting the channel, watching the videos. It means the world to us. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.